Welcome to my WWF LJN Customs channel, where this time around I'm going to talk about and show you what I'm going to do with a resin figure. So, what I have right here is your typical rubber figure um, that used to be a dynamite kid, I do believe. And this is your typical figure, and just like King Kong Bundy over there, who's going to be somebody else, so I won't spoil that one. Uh, but I got in the mail today a resin figure all the way from England across the pond. And I got these two King hats. Now, these are original Harley Race, King Harley Race hats. And so what somebody does is they make resin copies, basically a mold of this. And they're a little bit cheaper. Uh, I don't mind these because I don't count these as my regular figures. Uh, I do have a Haku, regular Haku up here that I got in a pretty good deal last summer. Sorry, I'm not even close to it. There's Haku. And so what somebody has done, and again, this is just a gentleman from England, is he made a Haku. So he had an original one. And then someone must have molded it along the way. Now, Haku is a pretty expensive figure. Uh, she's, I don't know, like 250 and higher anymore. You'd be lucky to find one. Uh, he was just one of those black cards that was hard to get. Uh, I lucked out and got him and most of the rest of my black card, I think Series 6, is that right? 5 or 6, whatever. Uh, and... I lucked out on that one. So I was able to get one in pretty decent shape. And I think I'd probably get like 275 out of this one, I think. So I don't want to buy another one. And I don't want to color this one. So instead, what I want to do is I want to make a King Haku from when he won King of the Ring. And so I bought this resin figure. Now, this resin figure is solid. It's heavy. And it doesn't bend. Whereas you can see, I can do this with the King. This guy doesn't bend and doesn't snap. So I'm okay with it because I'm just going to customize it. So that's one of the reasons why I'm not anti-resin because you can get them for cheap. Although when people first started making these resins, they were like $150, $100. I'm like, you know, they're 100 bucks, and I can get a real one. Um, this one is only 40 plus each of these hats were like $10. Uh, and then I got a stand... And shipping was totally 80 bucks. So for uh, less than 80 bucks, I got these little cool things. So what I'm going to do is I wanted to make a hat for uh, um, a Jerry Lawler. My goodness, I was going blank. Uh, for King Jerry. So I bought two of them. So I'm going to make a King Haku. And I'm going to make a hat for Jerry. Now these should paint up pretty well. Um, I'm not sure. I, I've done some resin stuff before. It didn't turn out too bad. Um, so I'm not sure if I'm going to have to put a primer on it. I'll figure it out here shortly. But he's basically going to be purple, and I'm going to try and match up uh, everything else, which is going to be fairly easy. So maybe I'll start with the white on him just to see how that's going to go, and then we'll go from there. So here's King Haku, and uh, there's a little lesson on the resin figures. All right, so here's what I've done so far on Haku King uh, and the two helmets. Helmets crowns that would be appropriate um so just right off hand haku i'm using concord grape and it's the same thing on his crown and lollers is going to be flag red it looks like the red adheres a little bit more um this purple seems to be if i can get a darker purple i will but all my paints are currently out at walmart because everybody's buying them uh, but I'll, I'll start with this and it's not getting as much coverage as i would like but it's still not looking too bad white that doesn't look too bad. That might be one more coat, a third coat, uh, and that might be finished. But uh, it's essentially the same as uh, painting uh, a regular figure. And and I know some people don't like resins. I'm not a huge fan of them because I think people will buy them, sell, paint them, and then sell them as real figures. But if you're just a collector and you want a, a figure, like a, a Sarge or what other ones I've seen, Warlord, Haku, the big guns, um, I got no problem with painting this and just calling it my own. Uh, as long as when you resell it, you tell people that it's a resin. I mean, otherwise they're going to be able to tell it right away. But I, I don't want to buy a Haku regular figure and just paint him up. I'd, I'd probably catch a lot of flack for that. But, hey, if it's resin, there you go. That and it's only like 50 bucks. So uh, I'll just keep painting and uh, give you some updates. All right, so here's where I stand on King Haku. 
just still repainting and painting. Uh, trying to get his skin color right and uh, needing about three coats of it. Kind of wishing I uh, had done a base coat at some point. Maybe some primer or something would have made the stick a little bit better. But uh, it's going to take a little while. Uh, a few more coats and I'll get them. So I've gotten a little bit further on King Haku. Again, I'm trying to match him up instead of just trying to make his uh, color so that he can be King Haku when it's all said and done. Here's his little hat. What you think so far? Now, I am not trying to match his color of the original because I think he looks a little too orange. Uh, I actually like this color more as to how he looks in real life. Um, of course, it'll look a little bit better with the gloss when I put the Mod Podge on, but I don't have a whole lot left other than just to coat, recoat, recoat, recoat. Uh, pull a couple crowns on uh, where that belongs, and it's purple, obviously, needs a couple coats too, but not looking too bad. And hey, you know, does that look like resin? Doesn't look like uh, it could be rubber. Well, I don't know. It's up to you, I guess, but uh, I'm pleased with it so far. Um, now, a quick kind of look over here's what I'm doing I actually work on a couple of these at a time while the paint dries on one I move around to a couple others so there's the desk of an artiste I suppose all right so here is the completed Haku this is uh, from his uh, King of the Ring days and put his little ankle bracelet on there. So made his own little flesh color. Now some might say, ah, the real one is a little bit lighter, and it actually is. Um, but I think this is a little bit, just a shade darker uh, for him in real life, and I think that's a little bit better. Um, eyes are a little bit different. I just cannot do eyes, so it's the best that I came out with. So one's resin, one's not. One's rubber. You can tell this one looks a little bit harder uh, than the other one. And then I've got his... Uh, royal crown so there we have uh, King Haku in all of his glory uh, I'm trying to think of what purple I used um, I think it was Concord grape yep Concord grape is what I used so you can find a resin of uh, Haku it's the easy way to do it and uh, don't spend so much as you normally would on this bad boy so there you go there's King Haku